you know, y'all had the benefit of being early. And one of my questions is from a market making side, you know, in, in legacy, you're used to um, tiny, tiny wins that you stack a whole lot of times. And I, from my understanding for people that knew what they were doing, it was kind of easy mode for a while in crypto. And I wonder like, is it still easy mode? When, when did it start getting harder? Uh, in crypto to, to make as much money and, and, and what's that process been like from a competitive standpoint? Yeah, you know, easy mode never lasts. You know, <laughs> the markets are like, you know, pretty competitive. There's lots of smart people. And so even when it was easy mode, you know, there was like a lot of problems on like moving your money around, like exchange won't pick up your phone. They won't like give you your funds for two weeks and it's all tied up and you can't move stuff around, can't open an account. It's all those kinds of things going on when it was just the simple vanilla ARBs. Uh, you know, then it kind of evolved into some of the bases. Now the markets are pretty intelligent. Uh, you know, there's a lot of jumps competitors that are also in the markets playing with serious alpha. Um, but, you know, being early helps, obviously. And, you know, that's what everyone understands. And so you got to just keep it, it's going down the exact same path that the traditional markets went down. Right. We're not all the way up to wireless towers throwing messages around and FPGA is collocated with Binance. But. Is there any corner of the market that's safe? Because like when I got into crypto, it was just, you know, me and it felt like at least it felt like me and a few hundred other idiots trying to <laughs> take money from each other in a circle. Um, and, you know, the competition, there wasn't tons of smart competition. And as the markets have got larger, I have found I haven't got smarter. I've actually got dumber. <laughs> so I've instead tried to retreat to parts of the uh, parts of the market where I feel like I have a more of an advantage um, or um, like uh, expand my horizon, I guess, so my time horizon. Um, is there parts of the market where jump or jumps peers or, you know, um, the, the, the competition is still unsophisticated um, or there is more opportunity for uh, less intelligent people like me to take advantage? Well, you know, the, 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 the big thing here is that that jump and most traders are playing on different time horizons, right? Like you're like the higher frequency shops are trying to enter positions and exit and like, under a minute, two minutes, seconds, you know, depends on like what, what the diameter is of the trade is. And, you know, minutes kind of being the, the very long end, the very, very long end of this. And so, you know, it, it's kind of compressing down and the, your alpha on, you know, understanding the three, three psychology and, you know, that's not baked into all the quant models yet. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I think, I think, I think that piece is, um, that, that piece still, you know, it is, it, it's for the DGENs, it's for the natives um, and, and it's out there. Um, a lot of the year farming stuff, you know, I don't think there's there's like a ton of people from the traditional world kind of who can really get on comfortable with all the smart contract risk, with all the legal risk and kind of all that other stuff going on. So I think those parts of the market are, you know, not as uh, not as evacuated of oxygen yet. So do you think that happens over time? Like people get put together like risk frameworks for dealing with smart contracts and that gets more efficient? Yeah, it's got to happen. You know, there's like just stupid amounts of money being made. And so once when, when there's that much capital at play, like, you know, people figure it out. So, yeah, without a doubt. And then so how long until like Jump has got people playing DeFi kingdoms and like farming, you know, <laughs> like PC, PC games uh, in, in like just in like cubicles, like nonstop all day, all night? Is, is that the future? <laughs> well, I, I hope not, man. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think, you know, you, you kind of also have to like stick to like where you have a bit of an edge and where you have strength and just double down because you can play everywhere. Um, and, you know, we do try to play a lot of places where 140 people are trying to play bigger and, you know, a lot of people are. But yeah, I'm, Kingdoms is not within the, within the outfit. <laughs> okay. uh, only.